Okay, welcome guys. I want to show you a great strategy for crash and boom that will help you make money trading crash and boom. This strategy, yeah, this strategy, if you understand it well and use it well, you will make money trading crash and boom. Seriously, you will make money. So, before we get started, just give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel you turn on notifications so you'll be notified each time we drop a new strategy trading synthetic indices each time we drop a new strategy you'll be notified so you understand it and know another way to help yourself make money so this is how this strategy works you open your mt5 and this is crash and boom this is my my one minute time frame this is my one minute time frame as you can see so and this is the three level zoom this is the first level zoom second level and the third level zoom so you are we are using the third level zoom then what we need to do it's you click on the indicator tab the first indicator we'll be adding is the average directional moving index the average directional movement index is the first indicator here so the period is period 50 pixel style the style is two pixel the plus d r it's also two pixel but you choose the color of your choice but i'm using green then the d minus is also two pixel it should be the color of your screen just like my my mt5 is white so i'm using white same goes for the style so it's also the color of your screen so it's holding the plus di to pick the plus di that you should use another color different from the color of your screen then the levels should be 0 5 10 20 35 0 and 0 just like this so this is how you can set your levels you click the add button then write the number you want to add at your levels then the style it should be two pixel you take a color of your choice but i'm using blue so that's for that then you click done the next indicator we need here it's the the commodity market same at indicator window one you look for commodity market commodity china index commodity china index then the period we're using period 14 apply to typical price two pixel we are using green then the levels is minus hundred and hundred minus hundred and hundred color you can use the color of your screen as well so you click done then the next indicator is moving average moving average levels the levels is uh, sorry moving average we're using for the moving average we're using period 10 period 10 shift zero method simple apply to close then the star is four pixel we're using four pixel for the star the color let's take red we're using red so that's all you click done then the next indicator which is the last indicator we need is the market facilitation click on the the indicator tab click on add indicator market facilitation so yeah market facilitation which is the last indicator you click on it the volume you use tick line width should be four pixel four pixel mfi up we use green mfi down you use black mfi up again black the mfi down green so this is how you should set yours as well no levels so you click done so the indicator is ready so 
this is how this indicator works. so guys this is how this indicator works yeah this is how it works so what you need to do is to watch out for this red moving average once this red moving average crosses this dark green line this line yes once this red moving average crosses above this line at the overbought level which is from this hundred at the overbought level consider a say get ready for a spike just like this it crosses above at this point yeah at this point it crosses above you see the spike look at the line it was immediately it crossed the next candle it tried to be a buy but it became a sell it tried to be a bullish candle here yeah, which is at this point but it came down it returned back so at the same time this point as well yes this point you can see but you see it was the green moving average that crossed above the red here there was no sell but look at this point this point the red moving average crosses above it again look it crossed above it consider this straight line it was at the last bullish candle the last bullish candle that the crossed occurred yes it was at the last bullish candle that the crossing was completed look at it then the next candle was a sell and something to note is that something to note is that when you catch a spike like this and the candle from the from this graph here and the next candle is a is a black candle just like this just like this just like this black candle you understand the black the next candle if that next candle is a black one then you expect another spike expect another spike just like this you see you expect another spike and this is it so this is how to catch spike and crash and boom so let's check more okay you see this you see the moving average crosses this dark green line the red moving average crosses above this dark green line at the overbought level at the overbought level please take note of that it's possible to cry to cross anywhere and crash but we are using the overbought level just to be careful to avoid risk we are using the overbought level because it works perfectly well in the overbought level you see you see you see the spike you see the cell okay so this is how it works let's check on and another thing i want you to note it's better you use it's better to draw your candles to the beginning of your screen just like this i uh, instead of using it this way it's better to bring it closer to the end like this because it is more accurate being at the beginning of the screen you understand what i'm saying it is more accurate you see i said this spike and you see it has spiked it has spiked i placed it i placed it yeah it has spiked okay and it's a black one so i'm expecting another spike i placed this trade when it was when it just crossed here here this point i placed it i entered this market here at this point and you see I caught the spike though I was busy doing other things so I couldn't go off the trade but since it's a black candle a black candle here this candle since this candle is a black one then I'm expecting another spike so I will hold on for the market so let's check out others to learn you see the reason why you need to put it here is that you see I did been your candle was like this you will find out that this graph of this red moving average is here so it's not accurate so it's better you put it here just the way we did it before you put place your 
shift your uh, your your graph to the end to the beginning of your screen so you understand it well so it can work perfectly so you see it crossed here and you got a spike and you see it was a black candle it was a black candle but the little little candle inside they were all black so you know that the next you are expecting a spike and it must come you see it's a spike for this black another black candle you see we got another spike you see so this is a green i do advise that you leave the trade once it's a green because it is not sure because you are not sure of green it might not come it might come and note that it's at the overbought level overbought level please let's trade carefully we're not here to lose money we're here to make money so we don't have to lose money if you understand all the strategies you will make money from it true sincerely speaking you will make money from it this is another reason why i said we should always shift our screen our graph to the beginning of the screen just take this reason i did been this graph yeah it's at the end of the screen just like this and i see this red moving average crossing above it then i will place a cell do you see this i will place a cell here okay let's this is a little spike okay let's forget that okay let's see already i'll press it here right and then this is another one i see it moving red moving average crossing this green line as well here here i will also place it here but not know that not knowing that it won't say let's see it didn't say you see you see you see it will just keep on low so from this point down you just be on loss so that's why it's better to shift it to this end you see if i shift it to this end it won't show that the red moving average is crossing above until the accurate place that it crossed until the accurate place that will that will, that will give me profit you see that's how it works so that's why we shouldn't make such mistakes I hope you understand that very well. I just hope you do understand. Yeah, this is it. You see what I'm saying? It crossed here, but it didn't say. It crossed here. It crossed here, but it didn't say. But it didn't say. Look, it didn't say. It didn't say. You see, it didn't say until finally here, which is when I put place it here. You see, when I push it to this end, you see when I push it to this beginning, the beginning of the screen. When I push it to the beginning of the screen, it doesn't show that the red moving average cross. But when I bring it to the beginning, look at the point that it showed. And that's where we got the spike. So I did been an entire day trade from here, this point that it crossed. Then the next thing is after two candles, I got my profit. And I saw a black candle, which is this candle at the graph. I expect another spike. This is it. You see how it works, right? You see how it works. So when you see a red candle, a black candle, you can expect a spike. You see? So that's how it works. So this is how we make money from. You see this point? I told you I'm expecting a spike, right? I told you I'm expecting a spike because it's a black candle you see right and this is it it just spiked you see what i'm talking about this is how we make money you see it just spiked and it's also a black it's also a black it's also a black candle so i'm expecting another spike i'm holding on for this candle as well because it will spike again so i won't waste your time to wait for it to spike I believe if you understand this strategy seriously you will make money from it this is how this strategy works it's used to sell for crash and for boom you use it to buy you don't use this strategy to to buy crash you use it to sell crash and buy boom so let's just check for boom 500 you see how this strategy work for boom 500 you see okay okay what we need to do here right now it's um 
just same way vice versa for crash 500 you watch this market when the red moving average crosses this time it's below when the red moving average crosses below this dark green line you observe then we'll have a buy just at this point of this red last red candle this last red candle it crossed right it crossed then we got a buy we got a buy you see we got a buy so this is another it's another crossing this is another crossing as you can see this is another crossing though so it the crossing here this is another crossing so i want to place a buy for this market i want to place a buy yeah i just placed a buy and let's not worry this buy let's see it's going to spike so let's check on other examples for boom 500 you see at the oversold but this time we are using oversold for for boom 500 at the oversold level look at it it crossed below right it crossed below it crossed below from here and look at the buy it crossed below and look at the buy you see it crossed below look at the buy so that's it that's how it works cross below you buy at the oversold level at the oversold level so see for this spike it cross below at the oversold you buy it cross below you buy so that's how this strategy works that's how it works something to know that you don't need to enter the market every time every time you just see a spike make sure it is accurate that is it is at the oversold or at the overbought level that is for crash 500 make sure it's at the oversold for boom 500 you see you see a crash at the oversold you enter this trade here and then a spike or call spike you see how it works you see how it works it spiked the immediate next spike was a, a buy as well you see how it works right so this strategy works well just use it well avoid risk use it well we are still waiting for this one you can see the spike the crossing just it just started though it has not been finalized but we are going to get the spike i'm expecting the spike yeah so this is how this strategy works it works well it works well i'm telling you to avoid risk please don't say boom 500 you say only crash 500 and you buy boom 500 you buy boom you say crash it is very risky to say to say to say boom it's very risky to say boom I'm still waiting for this one it's going to crash let's wait it's going to crash let's wait i don't want this video to be too long but let's just wait it's going to crash it's going to crash oh, sorry it's going to boom it's going to boom so this is how the strategy works this strategy works well test it and use it just try it on your demo account you will make money from it i'm telling you you'll make money from it you will make money from this strategy you make money from this strategy yeah you make money who we'll make money to the glory of god this strategy is good for boom and crash for boom and crash so thanks for watching this video and you can subscribe to this channel for more videos on how to trade volatility synthetic indices yeah you can also watch my previous video on the best strategy for stepping this <laughs> that strategy is very powerful the link is at the description watch the video for stepping this if you like trading stepping this stepping this is a way <laughs> i call it stepping there's a money maker stepping this it's very it's a very good way to make money stepping this try the strategy and thank you
Okay, yeah. This is what I was waiting for. You see? It spiked. I told you, right? Yeah. This is what I was saying. It spiked. You see? I'm profit. This is how to make money from boom and crash. You see it, right? It spiked. <laughs> so, that's how it happens. This strategy works well. So, let me check back on the crash. Yeah. You see crash? It spiked again. You see the black candle? You see the black candle? It gave me hope for another spike. Black candle, another spike. Black candle, another spike is coming right here. So, this is how to trade. Boom and crash. Use this strategy way. Take time to understand it. And I promise you, you will make money. Subscribe to this channel for best strategies to get notified. And turn on notification to get notified on the best working strategies for trading synthetic indices. Both crash 500, boom 500, boom 1000, crash 1000, step in the surrender breaker and all synthetic indices. So, thank you very much. You can like this video if you enjoy it. Thank you.